Number 1. Anju Noodle Bar. This noodle bar in a repurposed government building in Kittery serves freestyle Asian fare. Don't miss the okonomiyaki, pork buns, or ramen fortified by a 14-hour broth made with meat from the butcher next door. Insider's tip, pass through the back of Anju into its sister cocktail bar, the Wallingford Dram, for a drink before or after dinner. Number 2. Oxbow Beer Garden. Farmhouse Brewery Oxbow Brewing's third location became an instant classic as soon as it opened in the former home of a cross-country ski center. Yeast lovers flock to the outpost in western Maine for the tasting room's 15 taps, wood-fired pizzas, and adjacent bottle shop. Number 3. Palace Diner. If the young geniuses who run this old-school diner car don't yet have a key to the city, it's time. They're probably the most effective ambassadors Bidford has. From the pancakes and egg sandwich to the tuna melt and fried chicken, portions are just large enough that you probably shouldn't finish, but too delicious to set aside. Number 4. Magnus on Water. Chef Ben Jackson, formerly of Drifter's wife, moved to Magnus on Water after a pandemic reboot. There he joined former Elda bartender Brian Catapang and general manager Brittany Saliwanchik, along with partners Julia Russell and Carmen Harris, to serve up original cocktails and small plates like sherry steamed clams. Number 5. Bite into Maine. No visit to Maine is complete without a lobster roll. All of Bite into Maine's locations serve some of the best lobster rolls in the state, but the seasonal location at Fort Williams is the most scenic. In addition to five styles of lobster roll, you'll find chowder, a variety of grilled cheeses, and whoopie pies. Number 6. Woodford F&B. This neighborhood eatery with a retro diner feel provides a much-needed dining option to Woodford's Corner. A four-street alum, Chef Courtney Loreg delivers brasserie classics like mussels and fries, an epic cheeseburger, and Maine crab cakes. Classic cocktails from the bar make this spot an off-peninsula destination. Number 7. Cheval. This West End Bistro from chef owners Damien Sansonetti and Oma Lopez has become a neighborhood favorite thanks to its homey vibe and leaf-covered back deck. The menu includes Spanish staples like Jaminy Barrico and blistered Padron peppers, as well as French dishes like Coco Van. Number 8. Local 188. Local 188 pioneered the farm-to-table movement in Portland, and it has stood the test of time, welcoming diners for over 20 years to its Congress Street restaurant space and art gallery. Executive chef Jay Villani and his crew's ever-changing menu of Spanish-influenced tapas and main dishes continue to impress. Number 9. Central Provisions. With an ever-changing menu, an impressive drinks program, and fantastic service, Central continues to make waves five years after it started turning heads. At their beautifully renovated old port spot, Chris and Paige Gould serve small plates of globally inspired cuisine like smoked halibut dip, a lobster and chorizo roll, and cauliflower feta annulati. Number 10. Terlingua. The outdoor dining at this boutique barbecue restaurant is a worthy destination in Portland's East End. With a menu of house-smoked meats and dishes with Caribbean flair, Terlingua has something for everyone, including vegetarians. A solid craft beer and tequila selection ties it all together. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.